Chef Buck here, and today we're going to cook up some sweet potato. Look how sad this sweet potato is. You know, I'm going to have to clean this up. I got some uh, cilantro here on its last leg. Look at my cilantro farm. It's about to go into foreclosure. But I've got a little bit of cilantro here, and I got some cumin. So this is a different kind of sweet potato dish. Usually when we make sweet potato, it's usually a uh, candied sweet potato with a lot of butter. But this is going to be a more savory sweet potato dish because of the cumin and the cilantro. We had this out at a barbecue place, and it was so fantastic. Uh, so I'm going to make it here today, and if you want to check the recipe out, I'll have a link down below. It'll take you over to myfoodchannel.com, and you can check out all our recipes <laughs> over there. But uh, yeah, this here, I need to clean this up because this skin, I mean, it, it looks a little like my skin. So we can't have that. Oh, good. You're leaving some of the skin. Yeah, you know. Oh, it's good for you. I know the skin's good for you, but I mean, the skin just looks so terrible. I mean, I bought these sweet potatoes, what? It's been long enough for them to start looking like this here. But I'll, I'll, I'll leave a few little slivers of skin on here just because I'm too lazy. But let me go ahead and get my stove turned on here. Boom. And now I'm just going to do this here in a skillet, but you could do it in a pot. I wish I had a pot that had a good lid that was a nice little pot. I'd probably do it in there, but the skillet will be all right. So I'm going to heat me up a little bit of oil. And I'm going to put it on kind of a medium-high heat. Because I might as well throw me a sear on these sweet potatoes since I'm going to throw them in a skillet. And I'm going to cut them up into some different sizes. Let me give me a big knife. That's not a knife. I feel uncomfortable with this little knife. I need a knife that makes me feel like a man. Well, I mean, as close as I can get. Oh. I'm gonna cut me some, some chunky chunks of potato and some different sizes because I want some of the sizes to uh, cook down to nothing so that I have some creaminess in uh, my sweet potato dish. So some of these sizes are gonna be kind of irregular to give it a rustic look, why not? Let me throw some of these in here and get them searing. And now I'm going to take this one potato here and I'm going to cut this one down into some very small pieces. Now I got these pieces cut down into some pretty small sizes so that, you know, eventually they'll cook down and this will add a little uh, creaminess and mushiness to my dish. And then hopefully I won't have to add any sugar to give it creaminess, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll add some sugar, we'll see. But let me go ahead and mix everything up in this oil. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and let this cook for a little bit. While that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and mince up my garlic pretty good. So no or chop onion for this one. Uh, no, no onion. We didn't have onion in the dish that we got at the place, did we? I don't think so. I think it was pretty simple. I don't think it had that many ingredients. In fact, I don't even think it had garlic adding the garlic for the heck of it so garlic is optional and onion is optional you know you can always add onion to a dish all righty so these have been uh, searing away for a few minutes let me go ahead and throw some of this seasoning on here i got a little bit of cumin and i'm going to go heavy with it you know all these seasonings you can adjust but you know we liked the cumininess of this dish this here is kind of like a chili powder. Whoa. Was that a scary you're amount a, of heat for you? You're hot stuff, buddy. That's it. Now a little bit of salt. Oh, even before it's finished. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm going to add some water in here and let it cook. So I'm adding these seasonings now. When's the garlic go in? Now sounds like a good time. Yeah. Because I'm about to put a bunch of water in here. So yeah, this just needs like 30 seconds start. So at we'll the just go ahead and throw it in here. Get this garlic flavor around, and like I said, this is optional. I've just got garlic on hand, so why not? Let me add some water in here. That'll be enough to get it started. We'll see, I'll add a little bit more later if I need to. Now, we're in Ecuador. Uh, you know, we've been in Ecuador a little bit, you know, kind of traveling around, doing a lot of eating out and whatnot. And if you want to check out our travel vids, I'll have a link around here that you can uh, see what we post over there and see what we're up to. We're in an Airbnb. And I had to buy this skillet because it didn't even have a decent skillet. But I don't have a lid 
for this skillet. So I'm going to have to improvise. Luckily, this, wow. this oven comes with a lid. So I'll just set this on here. And uh, we'll let this cook away for a little bit and see what happens. Beep, 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 beep. Let's see what's going on under here. Oh, this is hot. I got well, Sherlock here. You know, I bet you you'll have a better setup than I got. Okay. Yeah, but it is a good reminder that you can... Oh, you can always make do. Yeah. You definitely don't need more water. Once I take this lid off of here, this, this water will disappear pretty fast. So I'm not worried about that. In fact, we might have to add some more water before these potatoes Those were cook. thinly cut. You might we'll want to put a fork in one. They might be ready. Well, the thing is, I do want some of them to be soft. It's going to have some mushiness to it. I get that and part. And it's going to have some non-mushiness to it. Yes. It's going to be... The correct sin of mushiness. Oh, shit. You're not even catching this on camera. What? You're supposed to be the film person. I'm trying to. Okay. We got a, like a very exciting maneuver going on here, and you're, you're pointing it at my shirt. Look at that. It's like it never happened. It's like I'm, I'm cooking in a perfect world. Nothing bad ever happens. All right. Let me give one of these pieces a try here. Still got a little ways to go, so I'm going to throw a little bit more water in here. Turn my heat back up, and I'll go ahead and throw my handy dandy, uh, whatever the hell this is, back on top. Beep, 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 beep. Alrighty, let's see what we got going under, under the hood here. I'm going to go ahead and leave the lid off now and let this water cook out of here because I think I got all the softness I need in here, and I still want to have some uh, hunky chunky chunks. I'm going to throw a, a wee little bit more salt. Believe it or not, a little more cumin. Because that combination is just surprisingly delicious. Let me get a fork and I'm gonna smash up some of these softer, smaller bits of sweet potato. When we got this out at a restaurant, you know, I think they put a little bit of sugar in here to give it almost like a rich sauce, but I think we'll be able to achieve that without the sugar. Because, I mean, sweet potato, once you mash it up, you know, sweet potato can be its own creaminess. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn it down, down to low, because I think we've about cooked out enough of the water. All right, now I'm going to add my uh, little bit of cilantro here. Now, I'm calling this a little bit of cilantro. This is actually a good amount of cilantro, but I just wish it was more for this dish. Because cilantro, once, you, once it gets in this hot skillet, it's really gonna cook down to nothing. It's gonna disappear. But that's why you put it in at the end. Yeah, I don't wanna put it in too soon so that it's gonna cook all the flavor out of it. But even just going in here with this hot potato, I mean, that's gonna soften it up and wilt up this cilantro quite a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the stove all the way off. You know, I think really I've just got all the water out of here. This is just the potato now. It smells so good. You know, I could have it be a little more saucy a little more shiny and luxuriant if I put some sugar in here. But I don't think it's necessary. But if you wanted to put, you know, a tablespoon of brown sugar in here. Maybe you start with a teaspoon. You know? Oh no, it, can you even, is there such a thing as a teaspoon of brown sugar? I've never even heard of that. But I don't know what we're gonna have this with. This is a side dish. We'll, we'll plate it up with something, but it's done. I've got this sweet potato dish. Cilantro, cumin, sweet potato, it's, it's just a great combination. It's really good. Yeah, it works. There's nothing really bad in here. I did put um, olive oil to cook it, but... Mm. I'm just standing here eating it. It's so good. It's very eatable, as they say in the biz. Okay. I'll have a link down below to myfoodchannel.com and you can check out all our recipes over there. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing and supporting us on Patreon and, you know, watching our travel channel and just doing everything that you do. We appreciate it. Uh, so, hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye. Oh, it just powered off. I don't know if it got the very, very end. I can just put up a thing saying my camera is tired of listening to me.